أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله you are welcome to our ten minutes al Quran al Fajr and today inshallah we shall be looking at verses forty and forty one of Surah Al Baqarah Allah says أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا بني إسرائيل اذكروا نعمتي التي أنعمت عليكم وأوفوا بأهدي وفي بأهديكم وإياي فارحبون وعامنوا بما أنزلت مصدقا لما معكم ولا تكونوا أول كافر به ولا تشتروا بآياتي ثمنا قليلا وإياه يفتكون. Allah says, O children of Israel, أذكروا نعمة التي أنعمت عليكم. Remember my favors which I have bestowed upon you. أذكروا نعمة التي أنعمت عليكم. وأوفوا بآدي وفي بآديكم. Keep your covenant with me. I will keep my covenant with you. Wa iyaya farhabun. And it is me you should worship. Wa aminu. It is me you should fear. Wa aminu bima anzaltu musadikon lima amakum. And believe in what has been revealed unto you. Which is confirming the truth of what was with you. وَلَا تَكُونُوا أَوَّلَ كَافِرٍ بِي Do not be the first to disbelieve. وَإِيَّا يَفَتَّكُونَ It is me, your Lord, you should fear. Here Allah is reminding us. If you hear Yabani Israel, Allah is saying, O children of Yaqub. Israel means Yaqub. Yaqub is Israel. And Israel is Yaqub. So when it says children of Israel, it means children of Yaqub. And how do you benefit from tafsir? Until you see yourself as the addressee. That this is really talking to me. Allah is saying, Remember my favors upon you. Of course, you know, Allah bestowed a lot of favors on the children of Israel. Part of these favors, you can imagine when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, why is this task of Musa? They call me Fakuluna Dribu Biasoka. Can you imagine stones? Water coming out of stone. They were thirsty, and Moses, Prophet Musa, was worried and he prayed to Allah. And Allah said, Okay, strike the stone, and then water started gushing out of the stone. Allah Akbar. And part of the favor Allah bestowed on them is that food, manna, and quails came down from the sky. It's like chicken, you know, like something made of honey. That was the kind of food. It came directly from the sky to them. And part of the favor is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them from the tyrannical Fir'aun. <coughs> saved them from tyrants, from the oppressor. Allah Akbar. So you cannot count the favors of Allah. But this is about me and you now. Let us ask ourselves, do you remember the favors of Allah? You cannot count the favors of Allah. That I speak to you is the favor of Allah. I am unable to speak without Allah empowering me to speak. Can I ever show enough gratitude for my ability to express myself when I see daily those who cannot express themselves? When you see those granted this pair of ears, but they cannot hear with it. They cannot see with their eyes. They cannot reason with their brain. They cannot walk with their legs. They cannot breathe in and breathe out. Allah Akbar. So this is a great justification for religion. I have said before, the whole essence of religion is gratitude. My brothers and sisters, worry less about those things that you disturb yourself over. Just be busy saying, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Be busy, thank Allah, thank Allah. Take away that rubbish from your mind. Anything that presents you as someone who lack, tell them you have. Tell them I have. 
So long as I have my Lord, I am sufficient. I am sufficiently endowed because I have my Lord. Stop going into depression over what you worry yourself about. The greatest achiever in this world is he who is able to identify the blessings of Almighty Allah upon him or her and is able to express gratitude with all parts of his body. And that is what led to Salat. That is what led to Zakat. That is what led to fasting. That's what led to good character. Obey Allah shows it means when we say obey Allah, we are saying be grateful to Allah. My brother, be grateful to Allah. Tell them the favors of Allah upon me. He's uncountable. I cannot count it. Allah says, Why in Taudu name Allah to Sua? The reason, I mean, if you are to count my favors, you will never be able to count it. So, how do you come about associating yourself with poverty? Saying, I am poor. You are not poor, you are rich. Tell them, I am the wealthiest person. That statement should come out of your mouth. Why? Because you possess the greatest of all favors, and that is Allah. I have Allah, I have everything. My brothers, if you don't have a lot, you don't have anything. Describe yourself as somebody who has 25 houses. I tell you, you have nothing. You still have nothing. You came with nothing. You are going with nothing. What is it that you should possess? You should be very rich in spirituality, in righteousness, in piety, in gratitude. So the first statement today is, be grateful to your Lord. Do you know what that will bring onto, into your life? It will bring additional blessings. That is a strategy for getting empowered. Because if you are grateful for what I have done, Allah says, I will do more. So instead of thanking Allah for what you have, you are busy asking Allah for more and showing ingratitude for what you, you've been given already. What is the sign of ingratitude? Your disobedience to Allah. What is the sign of gratitude? Your obedience. So worship is gratitude and disbelief is ingratitude. So now Allah says, Remember the favors that I conferred on you. Keep your covenant with me. I'll keep my covenant with you. It means worship me. I will reward you. That's the meaning. Keep your covenant with me. I keep my covenant with you. It means worship me. I will reward you. Your covenant is to worship Allah. Your covenant is to be grateful. I will reward you. Now what is what do you mean by covenant? If you look at Surah al -Araf, all of us were brought together from the loins of our father, Adam. And Allah made us to witness against ourselves. That when you get to this world, Allah to be Rabbikum. Who will you recognize as your Lord? All of us said, Kolu Bala Shahidina. We testify that none will be recognized as our Lord except you. Now, if that was a lie, what who have you discovered in this world is your Lord now? Have you seen anyone who will manufacture a good product and will be too shy to associate himself or herself with the product? Have you seen anyone who will do such? When ordinary pure water, people identify themselves with pure water, that I am the manufacturer of this. Who will now manufacture the sky, I mean the heavens, the earth, the mountain, the thunder, the lightning, human beings, animals, plants, everything, and will be too shy to say I did it. He has not been shy. He has said I did it. He has not been, I mean he, 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 I mean, he has been out and he has claimed it. He has said, made by Allah. That's why he says in the Quran, I am the one who created you. Have you seen anyone who, who claimed you after Allah said that? No one else. The reason we are able to identify that this car is made by Toyota, this car is made by Mercedes, is because only the name of Toyota, only the emblem of Mercedes is on the car. Ever since Allah has created you, only Allah has claimed you. Because he has claimed you, so what is your duty? Your duty is to, to serve him, to acknowledge him, to worship him. And automatically, what will Allah do? Allah says, I will keep my promise. And all of you have started seeing the promise kept. I know for one that I have peace of mind, and I know you have peace of mind. And those of you who still lack, may Allah grant you peace of mind. Do you know how you can get peace of mind? You get peace of mind when you trust Allah. There is nothing you remember in this world that, that can give you peace of mind. Wealth cannot give you peace of mind. Children cannot give you peace of mind. I'm looking for position. Can never give you peace of mind. Allah be zikri light at al kulub. It's only when you remember Allah that you have your peace of mind. So that shows that if you do what you should do, Allah will do what He has to do. Keep your promise. I will do my own. Keep your duty. I will give you your right. Give me my right, and then you will see that you know, you will be abundantly blessed. So 
That's why Allah says, keep your covenant with me, I keep my covenant with you. Why here for a It is me you should have, you should fear. So that shows that taqwa is another message this morning. Fear of Allah. And Allah says, Wa minu bima to Believe in the Quran. This is an invitation to the children of Israel to accept Allah, to accept Muhammad. Believe in the Quran. Believe in Muhammad. You know. Because the Quran is testifying to what was given to you before. Do not be the first to disbelieve. Do not be among those who will reject. It is me you should fear. My brothers and sisters, we will expand it more, inshallah, tomorrow. But this is where we're going to stop. Remember, it's just for 10 minutes. May Almighty Allah bless you. Very soon we will start the Yoruba session. And please join us then. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.